Hey folks, my name is Ben and you're watching Mario Speedruns. It is uh, show number 44 and June 26th, uh, 2016. Our character Baldor is a halfling rogue and he's level 25 and hanging out at 1350 feet down in the dungeon. All right, let's play, shall we? But first, let's check out the stool of advertising. Here it is. I've been waiting for this for uh, oh, a good year. <laughs> for whatever reason, uh, the vinyl is slow to come. I, I have a very small vinyl uh, collection. This is Michelle McAdory's Into Her Future. Uh, she's carrying some kind of a water bottle. It's empty. And, uh, yeah, some kind of purple grass and a trailer. That is the thing. I'll put a link to all of these songs. You can listen to all of this uh, uh, for free. For free. And I'm not going to throw it on the ground because it might wreck it. Uh, this album is rootsy, kind of folksy, kind of, I don't know, uh, alt-country at times, if you like that kind of thing. I'll put a link. You can listen to it. It's it's good. Um, her prior album was very different. <laughs> this marks a return to uh, listenable music. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm not going to throw it on the ground. Let's uh, move on. And now it's time for the Wheel of Source Code. Before we play some Mario, let's take a look at a random source code function. Which function? Whatever one the wheel points to. Okay. We have PRT2AC or something like that. We have something about inventory. We have something about poison, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I see something about poison. Here we go. Three, two, one, and stop. Slow poison. So how does the slow poison function work? It's in spells.c. So this is like a spell that I think a priest can uh, can cast. Slow poison, Robert Allen Kaneki. Kaneki. Koanek. Ah, I forget. Here's the whole thing. If we're poisoned, then we're going to do something. If we're not poisoned, we're not going to do something. Um, as you can see, this function takes our poison. That's the number of turns we have left to be poisoned. And we just divide them by two. That's it. <laughs> That's pretty easy, right? Um, if uh, we've somehow gotten to zero as a result of this, then we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to simply give ourselves one poison thing, one poison point, because this is not supposed to actually cure us. One turn of poison. All right, and yeah, we'll say uh, we'll return true or false whether we slowed the poison or not. Is this like the same thing as neutralized poison? Let's take a look at the callers. All right, it's a potion and it's a prayer. So, yeah, this is not something that you can cast as a... As a well, maybe it is. As a spell, I was going to say. Yeah, you can cast it as a prayer. Pray it as a prayer. And potion type 44 is a slow poison, which is different than cure poison. Now, if we were to look up neutralize... Uh, poison. Would that be a cure? Would that be a number 45? Or would that be a 44? Let's look it up. This will be interesting. 45 or 44, folks. So that's potion of poison. That's slow poison. There it is. Hmm. Where's the 44 or 45? It's 105 and 106. Is 
this isn't uh been confused. Shouldn't that shouldn't that link up? Ah there you go. It's a bit position. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See that? Crazy potion two stuff. Slow poison is a potion two, so you add thirty-two. And it's this bit position right here. So it's 32 plus whatever 8 is there. Right? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I think so. Anyway, we answered our question. There's slow poison, and there's also neutralized poison. And this one is about slow poison, where it just cuts it in half. All right, that is the, well, now I did it. How do I get back to that? Uh, where are, where, are, <laughs> where is the source code at? Let's take a look around the old uh, directory system here. Um, I think it's in documents, more in speedruns. You can take a look at my system here. Look at all this crazy crap. And eventually you get to Gmoria, right? And that is where, and I forget the name of the function, the name of the file, spells.c, right? And there it is. Oh, we made it all the way back. So yeah, that's slow poison. Divide by two. Pretty easy, right? Is there neutralize? Nope. <laughs> all right. You know what? Let's go and play the game. Enough of this source code stuff. Let's play it. Hey, 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 here we are. Let's play some Moria. Are you ready for some Moria? <laughs> Waiting for that timer. Where is the timer? Should be right here. There it is. Okay. Here are our stats. You can see our strength has been cleaned up and our dexterity has been cleaned up since last time. Uh, our experience is still dwindled a little tiny bit. We are at 1350. I just landed here. And uh, yeah, I searched for the closest room and this is what I got. Um, yeah, so here's what we have. I bought a bunch of these arrows and even some bolts to make sure... So that's plenty, right? As many as much as I can buy. And I kept a lot of these crazy wands and staffs or staves. All right, let's get to work. Work. It's not work. It's Moria. Uh, what's that? Potion of ugliness. What's that? Stone golem. What's that? Metal cap. Hmm. Well, uh, what do you want to do with this stone golem? You want to... We have stone to mud. Probably a waste. We'll just watch our uh, hit points here. A bit like hitting a wall. Got him. Does that do it for our hit points or our experience? No. So 129 away. All right, well, I don't know about that metal cap. We do have some scrolls of identify. Oh, brother, baby. Don't do it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ugh. I didn't want to go to 1,400 feet. Did you? <laughs> oh. Brother. Rusty Chainmail is always cursed. Oh, brother. Well, I didn't expect to be here on this level. It's trouble. 
trouble on 1400, folks. Maybe we'll catch our first dragon, huh? Maybe, maybe not. Mr. Blue Beetle's on the run. That's one thing I wish that Moria monsters would do. Where it run, run away, like realize they're gonna get beat and just flee. They never do though. Trolls, you kinda gotta watch your hit points. They have a lot of hits. Wooden mold. What do you want to do with that wooden mold? Yeah, let's identify it. Or just eat it. Our hit points are down a bit. Let's identify it. You know what? Let's save the identify. We're not. We're not. But then we got to get rid of something. <laughs> Always the problem in Moria. Ugh, what do you get rid of? Nothing. Staff of Teleportation. We have enough uh, fleeing technology. Fleeing is the name of the game, this, uh, this game. At least it comes up a lot. Alright, there's some money. So what's making me happy this week, besides ice cream, ooh, look at that, is a podcast called uh, You Made It Weird with uh, Pete Holmes, comedian. And he had a guest on named Shane Moss. I've uh, told you about him before. He was the DMT guy. I think I told you about that. Uh, comedian as well. So he told the... It's a two-hour thing. I'll link to it down in the description. And he told a story that another comedian told while he was on the worst road trip ever. And this comedian who told it was like a, a, a Mexican comedian who kind of looked like Danny Trejo, and, uh, you know, Danny, uh, he's uh, Machete. Machete. <laughs> Uh-oh. Anyway, uh, they're at this... Crap, could have fallen through another trap door. Look at the hit points, man. They're at this Mexican bar, uh, and... They're at this Mexican bar, and a prostitute from the brothel next door, yeah, it's going to be that kind of a story, <laughs> comes in and asks if anybody wants a freebie. A freebie. <laughs> like, uh, free prostitutorial uh, services. <laughs> if that's a word, prostitutorial. Nobody's taking her up on it. But one guy, one guy says, yeah, I'm in. I'll do it. But there's a catch. The catch is they have to do it on the stage for everybody to see. So that's what he does. <laughs> and in the, what happens next, you won't believe. <laughs> if you've heard, if the only way you know what's happened next, if you're A, in this bar, or B, heard this comedian tell the story. And it's true. Ooh, I'll take that. Hmm. So what happens next is... Eh, you can't guess. Maybe I won't tell you. You can just look it up yourself. Listen to the thing. It's so good. It's bad, but it's good. Well, I'll, okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. 
prostitute does this uh, uh, this scissor like move. That's the way the comedian described it. Scissor like move. And uh, twisted around and kind of closed her thighs to trap the guy uh, on top. So she scissor like move, went to the bottom, and now uh, she's closed her legs, and the guy can't move. He's bare assed in, in the air, right? And then a uh, a man in a gorilla suit comes on stage <laughs> with a banana in his hand. Now, this is just just about the most unlikely thing you could think of happening. Now. If you have a dirty mind, you know where this is going. You know what the next thing is he's going to do. <laughs> yeah. And this is where the story takes a darker turn. Ugh. Blind. And poisoned. Still poisoned. So it takes a darker turn. Yeah, and the, the guy in the gorilla suit with the banana proceeds to rape the uh <laughs> the son laugh, shouldn't laugh. The guy's on stage, he puts the banana in the butt of the guy on the stage. And that's not even the end of the story. <laughs> How can a story end there? And I won't tell you the rest. You have to listen. To, if that story seems interesting to you, <laughs> then you can listen more at the link below. But wow, I was just like mortified when I heard this story. Mortified. Mortified that any part of it would happen at any time. Ooh, a ring. So yeah, that that is the uh, ooh. That is the You Made It Weird podcast with Shane Moss, and it's the second time he was on. Yeah, I was outside walking when I was listening to that, and I just couldn't help but laugh. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, doing okay here. So yeah, elsewhere in that podcast, he talks about DMT trips again. Um, what else? Just a long story of that road trip from hell, which uh, all comedians seem to have been on at some point. All right, 1,400 feet, not so bad. Not so bad for old Beldor. Uh-oh. All right, let's uh, switch to arrows. That did it. Oh, darn it. We need some good stuff. We're not finding it. We've seen two crazy bad potions. She 
Shouldn't this guy be dead? It's a slay undead mace. Or a slay undead, yeah, mace. Well, that lead filled mace looks rather interesting. We're going to identify it. Here we go. Is it special? Lead filled mace. It is special. Ah, we'll throw it back. Not special enough. Ooh, ooh. Resist heat. You know what it sounded like there? It sounded like in Monty Python, uh, one of the knights. When he, <laughs> when he said, uh, when he tried to say knee. Yeah, anyway, no one needs more Monty Python quotes. Everybody's seen them all. Is that a clear level? Just about. We have uh, this little area right here. Yeah, not too shabby. What are we going to find in the unexplored area? Constitution jar? Nah. Well, we have some kind of a disenchanter ooze. We're going to keep our distance. Disenchanter oozes are bad news. What are we going to find? Apparently nothing. How do you get there from here? Hmm. Is this a case of the... Uh, any monsters in it? Huh. Must be something over here. Ah, there we go. I thought the maze generator was just off there for a second. I've never found an unattached room, by the way. In all of my years of playing, so I don't think it's broken. Nobody home. All right. One more chance. Ooh, it's a potion of lose wisdom. Uh, well, I guess we should go about finding stairs up. Let's go this way. Ooh. A ring. Increased damage. And we're back to 1350, folks. Sheesh. Mr. Long-Eared Bat is angry. Probably not a good idea to for me to hit the tick first. Because I'm going to be blinded by him. There you go. Ooh, a special room. It's got to be special. Is it? Yes. All right, I love special rooms. Cool stuff in it is a ring, some kind of a pick, and some kind of a hafted weapon, along with potion. All right, monsters, a couple of capital E's and an orc. Let's get to work. 
All right. Potion is sleep. Ball and chain for the hafted weapon. And a ring of stupidity. Ah, well. A lucerne hammer. That's pretty good. So I guess it's a hafted weapon and and a what? A pole arm? Ooh, a closet. Well, like I didn't see these guys earlier. A pole weapon versus a hafted weapon. Huh. Wand of Magic Missile can't be bad. I'd rather have it than the Sleep Monster, I think. What do you think? Hmm, tough to say. Okay, we gotta check out that Lucerne Hammer. Read, scroll of Identify, here it is. What is it? Is it special? Is it a Defender? Is it a Holy Avenger? Is it nothing? It is something, but it's not that good. Oh, now I'm stuck at that again. Thing is, we're gonna have space for it as soon as we get rid of five arrows. We could identify that uh, hairy wooden mold, which is a waste. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll get rid of the Staff of Starlight. The least useful. Moving on. Looks like another good room over here. Maybe not. All right. Oh yeah. Level 26, we did it folks. Any spells to learn? No. Morning Star. Disenchanteroos, no. Here we go, checking the Morning Star. Is it special? I hope so. No. And that's the name of the game, right? Uh, it's like you can only find so many bad things before you find something awesome. Iron Golem, leave him alone. Oh, he's awake. Leather scale mail, no. Longsword, maybe we'll try that out. Look at our hit points, 200. We'll check it with our last scroll of Identify. Here we go. Is it special? No. Ugh. I was hoping. Nothing like a nice magical longsword. Yikes. All right. Mr. Gollum is still after us. But he's too slow to catch up. All right. Not bad. Not bad. We got a new level.
All right. Oh, we gotta coax him up, up all the way up here, man. Get him out of the way. I'm getting hungry. D. Okay. Come on, mister. There he is. Come on around the corner a bit, and down we go. The uh, iron golems are not worth it. Too much work for too little benefit. If you fight them, you already know that. Ooh, a vampire. Let's uh, do what we can do with their bow. One, two, three, four, and five. Switching to other arrows. This guy's taking a lot of arrows. Okay, we got him. So tonight is uh, the big... Uh, Game of Thrones final, I think. The finale. All pike and ball and chain. We can pick up both. I'm a gamer. You have to, if you're a more, if you're watching this, you are also a Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be huge. That's the new word because of Donald Trump. Hey, nice potion. Potion of intelligence and watching our mana. Didn't do anything to our mana. Hmm. Guess we didn't go over a certain level. Another shield. Hmm. Well, let's take care of this. What is he? A ghost. Yeesh. Ghosts are serious business. Nice ring of protection there. Let's start hitting them with our arrows. One, two, three, four. So fast. Uh, ghosts are tougher than banshees. He just disappeared on us. Come on back. There he is. Maybe we should hit him with, like, uh, magic missiles. Can a magic missile hit him when he's in a wall like that? No. Oh, well, we're out of mana. Using our phase door scrolls. Come on, on the other side of that. Hmm. Okay, we got him. We got him lined up. Ah. Crap. Come 
Come on. Hit him with our composite bow. Let's hope that ghost doesn't catch up to us here. Rest. Okay, we rested, which is bad for this ghost. Because uh, the ghost can just suck our mana again. Wonder where he is. This guy is tough to beat. This uh, particular bunch of spores. All right, we got him. Who knows where the ghost went? Do have a ring of protection? That might be interesting. What are, what are our two rings? Ring of strength and a ring of lord lordly protection. Oh, I guess I should be thankful that the uh, the ghost is gone. There he is. I saw him. Okay, he's right with us. He can go right through those walls. There he is. Uh, let's go with our frost bolts. Ah, uh, got some of our mana. Ah, uh, five scrolls of phase door left, and he's gone. We are in. Oh, crap. So let's just go toe to toe, and we'll, we'll get him. All right. What's the damage? Look at that. A thousand. Ugh. Another leather shield. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Another ghost? Owning spirit. They're easier to get. I think they're a one-shotter. Just about. Alright. Well, I guess we'll be avoiding those guys, those ghosts, for a while. Tougher than Banshees. What was he worth? 434, but he took a thousand. <laughs> Hobgoblin on the on the way. As a result, we've dropped back down to level 25. Look at our hit points. Scary. Wow. Running away, running for our lives here, folks. What's that? Clay Gollum. You know what? We're going to put him into the wall. Ta-da! That's easy.
All right, let's clean them up. <clears throat> Stone to mud. Watching our hit points. Back on level 26, folks. And we just lost some more life. <laughs> oh, suckage. Not the best level for experience. You know what? That grape jelly is in the way. Let's go back and we'll teleport him away. into him here. Aim, teleport away, gone. Wherever he is now, who knows. Not in our way though. Oof, giant red scorpion. This guy's badass. What was he worth? Yeah. What is he? Black ooze. Let's use our bow and arrow on him. Ooh, our first dragon. It is mature white. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. We can't take on a mature white. We don't have any fire. We can't, we can't. <laughs> our first dragon is not going to be a mature white. I don't think so, folks. Darn it. Oh, well, we're going to have to sneak away. Hopefully he won't breathe on us. Being very careful. Is he with us? He's still right where he was. Oh, wow. Well, that's another dragon. That's dragon number two that we've seen, folks. Dragon number two. Staff teleportation. Hmm. Yeah, I'd like to get that dragon, but it's no it's no good. It's no good. You got to know your limits in this game, folks. If you don't know your limits, uh, you die. I think that's it, right? That's pretty much it. Let's go over here for our stairs. Up to 1300 folks. Not too shabby. I would have liked, uh, back to 1400. I would have liked to find something special. Now I'm paranoid. I'm always casting the uh, fine traps. Hmm.
what's our AC, what's our, we're 500 behind on our experience, that's it. You know what, we should go back up to town. Identify what we have, eh? So, yeah, let's go back up to the town. Um, wow. At some point, we lost the scroll of Word of Recall. That was my best Owen Wilson there, if you didn't notice. Nasally wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nasally airy. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. Let's uh, get rid of our arrow. Six scrolls of identify. We'll take all six. We're out of time. Scroll of identify. Uh, let's go for that ring of protection. Plus three. Very nice. A plus four is lord, lordly. I have trouble saying that. Lordly protection. I think. Um, all pike is normal. And the ball and chain is special, but not very. Um, let's sell that hairy wooden mold and find out what it is. It is unhealth, huh? Glad we didn't try it. Gotta buy some of these. Um, intelligence is way down, and there's no restore intelligence. Well, let's go sell those. Oh, what do we have? A flame tongue. Look at that. We can afford it too. But it's not that good. That would be very good against that white dragon. Ah, but we're seeing cool stuff. Which is nice. Now what? Just the normal the normal way here. We'll sell off a uh, ring of protection. Okay, we're good. Hmm. You know, this is the boring part for sure. <laughs> Got some more arrows though, that's good. Alright, I think we're good to go back down now. Minus the intelligence situation. It's not worth buying the, uh, to, we don't need to fix up our experience. Hmm. The Lordly Protection is plus five. That's right. Look at the boot situation. Minus two on the boots. I don't 
don't see any boots anywhere, do you? No boots. Well, we'll just do what we need to do and head back on down. But before we go, let's uh, buy any phase door scrolls they have, because we used up some. And now we can go back down. We are an extra time here, folks. The cameras are all magically on. We could just keep playing. We'll just keep playing. Huh? <laughs> Maybe we'll go down to 1450 by accident. Sheesh. Well, it hasn't been bad. You know, it's not like we had a, a gorilla put a banana up our butt or anything. That would be a bad day. <laughs> we are an extra time. Another all pike. Ooh, a black knight. These guys can hurt, man. I almost want to use the arrows on them. And there goes one camera. Yeah, we'll just take care of this black knight and call it a day. Okay, we're good. I think we are good. Okay, huh. we'll leave it right there, folks. What do you think? Not too shabby. Intelligence hurts. It really sucks. Experience, pretty low, and we have a long way to go until level 27. All right, let's check out the charts, charts, charts. Hey, remember this CD? I'll also put up all of the tracks to this so you can listen to it if you like. A link in the description box. Okay, let's do it, charts. Beldor. One interesting uh, chart here is the dungeon depth. You look at the 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 thickness of the lines here and it kind of shows how long we're staying down and you want to stay down longer if you can <clears throat> there's our stair step and our little missteps uh, with the ghost there's the same misstep right there hit points doing okay I like it up there at 200 armor class took a little touch of a hit Gold pieces dwindling a bit, and our scores, <clears throat> excuse me, our scores down a bit. How about that? And our intelligence took a large hit, but not much we can do about that. Hmm. Gold is good. Something fishy with this. It always shows the wrong values here. I don't know. All right, we're well, moving on. 18 and a half days in the dungeon, 17 and a half hours of playtime. We are at 1,400 feet, our lowest depth. Nearly 20,000 experience points. Uh, level 26. 2,100 kills, and no dragons. We'll have to start think about, thinking about killing dragons, folks. 200 hit points, we knew that. 45 armor class is our highest ever. 
637 objects picked up. 5446, which we had just recently, if not right now. For gold and the all-important score. Hmm, just about 46,000. So where do we go from here, right? Hmm. Well, it's, uh, ugh. Uh, sorry. Does this help? No. <laughs> um, where do we go from here? Uh, let's see. It's slow going getting the potions we need. I might have to just uh, play for like eight hours on my own. Just clear out 1250 or so of all the potions I can find, and then uh, continue on. What do you think? It's kind of boring always playing the same depth level. I'd like to go deeper, but I can't, because I need the, the stats up for the Balrog. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Is this, uh, you know, should I go deeper? Or should I, you know, play a bunch at 1250, 1400 feet? Uh, and then come back to you uh, and go and play to play deeper. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, so what's next though is... Yeah, more potions. We need those potions. That's why we're there at that level. Wouldn't be there otherwise. Uh, it'd be nice to get the uh, Wand of Stinking Cloud. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to eventually, someday, learn the Identify spell. <laughs> uh, yeah. It'd be nice to find a Ring of Speed. It'd be nice to find a Holy Avenger. It'd be nice to find a Defender. Those things. That's what we need. I had to take on the Balrog, though. We need uh, at least one Ring of Speed. At least one Speed item. Um, and a Slay Evil. S-E on the weapon. I know there have been some debates whether the Balrog is an undead creature or not. What do you think? I don't... In the game, he's not, I don't think. But in Tolkien lore, what do you think? Is he about... Is he, is he undead? He's been alive probably since the start of the world. But he can die, right? He's not an undead Balrog. It's not like skeletal. Yeah, I guess he's not undead. <laughs> there, I solved it for you. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, yeah, on a personal note, I did some exercise this week, but I also ate too much ice cream. So that sucks. That sucks badly. But I'll keep at it. Listen to more of some of those crazy podcasts. Whoa! <laughs> All right, that's it for me. Until next time, take it easy and enjoy your game. Bye-bye.